My name is Chris Armstrong. I farm corn and soybeans in east central Nebraska and in the background is our strip till rig running and we've been strip tilling for about four years and he's applying anhydrous ammonia with a nitrogen stabilizer right now and some phosphorus uh, variable rated based on prescriptions written with the Encirca fertility program. Uh, we've been using Encirca for our nitrogen needs for the last uh, four years or three years excuse me and uh, this year we've added the fertility. We think that uh, knowing exactly how much nitrogen is out in our field at any given time and when to apply the nitrogen uh, is a huge benefit of that program. Uh, we figure that we need to make about three bushels per field, per acre per field in order to justify the cost of it and the application timing and the nitrogen savings um, that we've seen has more than paid for those three bushels over the last three years. Um, we kind of feel that the strip till and then adding the encirca with it is not only good, the right thing to do for the environment, but it's also the right thing to do for our bottom line. Yeah, we we like to, especially uh, down here in uh, Platte Valley uh, bottoms in Nebraska, there's some lighter textured soils and then you go just a little bit and you get into these heavier textured soils that you can, you can fertilize in the fall. And uh, the, that program has just shown us which soils will hold the nitrogen and which ones won't so that we're not applying it and losing it and uh, not letting it get into the water supply and not losing that, uh, those dollars. Um, so we will uh, apply 130 pounds out here now with a Nutrisphere stabilizer, and then we'll come back in the, during the growing season and add the rest of our units of nitrogen. We'll use uh, a side dress machine with some Y drops to provide some, and then we'll do a, a one or two applications with the fertigation uh, through the pivot. For the rest of our units. Uh, with the planter we're putting uh, a starter of 1034 and a quart of chelated zinc and five ounces of Ascend mix uh, in furrow. Yeah I'd say we've had some of the best yields uh, in the history of this farm in the last several years. I, I know that yields across the country have been quite good for everyone over the last few years, um, but we feel like um, the improvements we've made here on the farm have helped us uh, keep up or stay ahead of that uh, trend in higher yields.